Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be a fun idea to share with you what perfumes I would run out and buy first if I had to start my perfume collection completely over from scratch. So I thought this would be a fun idea because I really love all the perfumes I have. I don't have a very big collection at the moment, but I thought, you know, if something happened and I had to start my collection over completely from scratch, which five perfumes would I run out and want immediately? And these were the ones. So I hope that you guys really enjoy today's video. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk a lot about perfumes. Before we get started, I would love if you would consider subscribing if you haven't already. Give this video a like and leave me a comment down below and tell me what would be the one perfume you absolutely could not live without and if you were to have to start over or you ran out of perfume which one is the first one you're going out to pick up and with that out of the way let's get started in today's video all right guys hello welcome back we have a little bit of a change of scenery today I am actually filming in my bedroom um, I have a nice little candle lit. it's actually broad daylight but the candle plays with the lighting and makes it look darker um, but yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out in my bedroom, doing a few things here and there, having a cup of coffee, preparing for a night shift. And I had an idea for a video and I wanted to share it with you guys today. So I'm just currently sipping on a cup of coffee and the candle that I'm burning is Cozy Cashmere from Bath & Body Works. And yeah, without too much further ado, let's get into today's video. So the first perfume that I thought of when I thought about what if I had to start my collection over, what is one of my favorite perfumes, what would be one of the first ones I would run out and get? This is an honorable mention because I think that the other five perfumes that I'm gonna share with you still are more favorite to me compared to this one. This one just had to be on the list though because this has become such a favorite of mine. And this is Armani C Intense. So this is a rose, benzoin, and patchouli fragrance. It also has a heavy dose of black currant. That black currant is what really makes it special. Um, let me actually just take the cap off and smell it here. Yeah, this is just such a gorgeous seductive fragrance and i actually wore this last night and got a compliment and so many people when i wear this perfume so many people tell me that i smell just beautiful and the magic with this perfume is that when it dries down on your skin that benzoin really comes through and it's just absolutely magical you guys the benzoin and the black currant syrup mixed together with this perfume is incredible and i cannot say enough good things about it i absolutely love it so this is one I would definitely recommend checking out. This one was just an honorable mention, but it is one I would really, really want in my collection if I had to start over. So that is Armani C Intense. The next perfume, and this is officially, I guess, the first one that I would want to run out and buy if I had to start over is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this perfume because everybody has smelled it and I've talked about it at length on this channel, but this has been one of my favorite perfumes for such a long time. And this is a tea orchid patchouli fragrance. It also has a number of other floral notes in it, and it also has osmanthus, which gives it a little bit of a sweetness. And this perfume, I think, is just incredibly intoxicating and also very versatile. Yeah, this is just such a good one, you guys. I don't think that anything really compares to Flower Bomb. I mean, there's perfumes that are similar, but Flower Bomb is a very distinct smell and if you smell flower bomb you know it's flower bomb it just stands out from a crowd i know that it's a little bit overdone so many people have had it i've worn this perfume for a lot of years but it is one of my favorites it has good performance i always get compliments and this is the type of perfume you could wear as a signature scent but also it would take you into a date night so i absolutely love this fragrance you guys and this would definitely be one of the very first ones I would run out and get if I had to start my perfume collection completely over from scratch. So that is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. The second perfume that I would run out and get if I had to start my collection over is Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. Now this perfume is a little bit redundant and it took me a really long time to get on board with this fragrance. For the longest time, I didn't understand what the hype was why did people like this perfume so much why was it on everybody's favorite perfume list this one and also the eau de toilette and finally after smelling tons of perfumes over the last few years something it was almost as if somebody flipped on a light switch and i understood why everybody loved this perfume and it just became a favorite of mine and now i can't imagine not having my collection without it this one is primarily a quince rose and musk fragrance i think there's also jasmine in here as well it is just such a pleasant light shampooy perfect everyday pretty fragrance there's something about it that is so 
understatedly classy and elegant and also a little bit sexy as well so this is also again another very versatile fragrance i think you could even get away with wearing this on a date night because it's just so clean and fresh but you could also wear it as an everyday signature scent you can wear it in the hot heat of the summer very versatile fragrance and just a no-brainer grab and go if you don't know what to wear and it's so soft and so light and so pleasant you just can't go wrong with it so this is a new love of mine and again one that i cannot imagine not having in my collection so that is chanel chance eau tendre the next perfume and you guys probably knew that this was going to be on there is mon guerlain from guerlain now this is a very comforting warm cozy vanillic lavender kind of a licorice fragrance it does have a little bit of a spiciness to it it actually is quite a co complex fragrance there's a lot going on in here it comes in this really beautiful like regal looking bottle it's very very pretty it's very elegant very timeless feminine ladylike comforting pretty it's just an amazing amazing fragrance this perfume also makes a fantastic gift if you wanted to get something for somebody in your family and you didn't know what to get them get it for yourself get it for your mom get it for your daughter <laughs> it's it's just that perfume that you cannot go wrong and everybody seems to like it and as you can see, I am nearing in on getting almost halfway down this bottle. Um, it's just fantastic. I can't imagine not having this perfume in my collection. Let me actually just take the cap off here, which by the way, I just love the cap. I love the whole design of this, of this perfume in general. Yeah, it's just, it's just incredible. Um, and I have a hard time with lavender perfumes. Like for example, YSL Libre or Lieb, however you want to call it. That one is also a vanilla lavender perfume. But that one I think also has orange blossom and there's something in that perfume that I cannot do. It is just too strong for me. It makes me feel almost sick to my stomach. It just is very, very heavy. This one on the other hand, I feel is extremely just light, calming, elegant. It's not in your face. Um, it's just amazing. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite lavender perfumes and it's one I could not imagine not having in my collection would definitely run out and get this if i had to start my perfume collection over the fourth perfume that i would run out and get immediately actually this might even be the first one i would get just because that's how much i've been loving it lately this perfume is one of my signature scents i would say i don't really have a signature scent but if i had a perfume that i wore frequently that i feel embodies me as a person and everything i want to smell like and everything i want to be it would be this perfume. This is Gabrielle Essence from Chanel. What I like about this perfume is it's a little bit more special and unique compared to Chance of Tondra because not everybody has it. And at the same time, it still gives you that beautiful, fruity, classy Chanel quality, but without smelling like something that everybody else is walking down the street wearing. I really, really highly recommend this one, you guys. And this one is a little bit more classy, a little bit more probably sophisticated and mature smelling compared to Chanso Tendre. You have white flowers, yellow flowers, you have a little bit of musk, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of sandalwood in the base. There's just so much going on in this perfume, but also you have that beautiful, fruity youthfulness. So it's like the best of both worlds. It's everything classy and elegant about Chanel, but it's also light and fruity and fresh and soft and elegant and it's perfect it is the perfect everyday perfume um i do not want to be without this perfume this is probably my favorite chanel perfume of the moment and it has superseded lots of other chanel perfumes that i've had in my collection including coco mademoiselle and chanel chanso de toilette just the original can't imagine not having this perfume let me actually just take the cap off and smell it here which by the way how beautiful is that little bottle yeah you guys i honestly can't say enough about this perfume i can't tell you how much i love it i'm so in love with it um it's perfect i get compliments it's a great signature scent daytime boyfriend likes it that i just don't even know what more to say like it's just such a great scent and i'm not gonna lie to you guys there is still a part of me who would love to declutter my collection and get it down to like 10 perfumes or less and honestly these are contenders like this one would be on the list those ones would be on the list just such a nice well-rounded 
selection of perfumes, even though a lot of them are kind of common, um, especially in the perfume community. But yeah, so that is Gabrielle Essence. That is the fourth one I would run out and get. And finally, we have the fifth perfume that I would purchase if I had to start my collection over again. This will probably come as no surprise. It is Kaeli Vanilla. And this is actually on my sweater right now. I wore this last night, um, and I'm gonna tell you a couple of really good layering combinations in a moment, so definitely stay tuned for that. But this one is just so beautiful, and it's such a compliment getter, and it lasts forever in my clothing. And this is a brown sugar vanilla orchid fragrance. If you haven't smelled this, then you must be living under a rock because I think everybody loves this perfume and has this perfume. The funny thing is a couple years ago when I started doing perfume videos, a lot of people had a lot of hate to give the Kaeli perfumes. They were like, they were giving it hate left, right, and center. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden one day it blew up and it was everyone's favorite perfume. And I was like, I was team Kaeli before they blew up. This perfume is so popular now. It's unbelievable how popular it is, which is kind of sad, but also doesn't really matter that much because it's not about the perfume, it's who's wearing the perfume and everybody wears a perfume in their own way and makes it their own. So, so this is just one of my favorite vanilla perfumes of all time. It's very sweet, it's very sexy, it's very comforting. Um, again, this one can take you from day to night. This could be a signature scent. This is appropriate for so many different ages. Um, it's just a very versatile perfume that also does not break the bank. And yeah, this one's quite old. As you can see, the juice has gotten quite dark and it actually smells even more boozy and I think lasts even a little bit longer now that it's a little older. Um, when I first got it, and when you first get this perfume, you guys, by the way, it's so incredible. You get a lot more of those floral facets and as it starts to age, you get a lot more of the brown sugar and like the ambery type of facets in here. But it's incredible, can't imagine not having it. Let me just take the cap off and smell it as well, just because, again, it's so beautiful. I do have to clean this cap because there is perfume inside it. Yeah, oh my gosh, I can't tell, I can't even tell you guys how much I love this. Um, this is on my sweater at the moment because I did wear it last night and the first thing I could smell when I woke up and put my lounge sweater on was this perfume and it was just so like, it's just so lovely. It lasts forever in your clothing, like your house coat, your pajamas, your bedding. It's just so nice and I just love it. So can't imagine not having that one. And that is the fifth perfume that I would purchase if I had to go out and repurchase all my perfumes again. So you guys, those are the five perfumes and one honorable mention. If I had to go out and restart my collection all over again, which perfumes would I purchase? Um, I do want to share with you a couple of layering combinations, just two. Now, in order to do these layering combinations, you do have to have Kaoli Vanilla. Kaoli Vanilla just layers so well with so many other perfumes. I think because it is that perfect, almost neutral, sweet vanilla. Um, so the perfumes I like to layer this with that I have noticed just by accident that this smells incredible with. The first one is Mont Guerlain. And I think that's because Mont Guerlain is also a vanilla perfume and it's a very comforting, soft, cozy vanilla perfume. But these two together, if you put them together on a sweater or you have a couple sprays of each, like one, like you could do Kaoli on your elbow, Mont Guerlain on your wrist, or you could just straight up spray them one on top of each other on your clothing. This combination is fantastic. The Kaoli gives it this like vanilla sweetness and the Mont Guerlain gives it this like cozy sophistication and it makes it a little bit more complex. So this is a really lovely combination. Also another perfume that you should get if you want to do some layering with Mont Guerlain is Le Vie Belle Le Clat. I used to have that perfume in my collection. I don't have it anymore, but Le Vie Belle Le Clat layered with Mont Guerlain is also incredible. I've actually considered bringing that perfume back just because it is such a beautiful, soft, pretty, sweet orange blossom fragrance. I like that one better than the original Olivier Bell. And Olivier Belle Eclat layered with Mont Guerlain is amazing. It lasts forever, super sexy, really enjoyable. I just absolutely love it and cannot say enough good things about that combination. Um, but sadly, I do not have that perfume. But these two layered together is amazing. The other perfume that I like to layer with Kaoli Vanilla is actually here in this pile. And it is Sea Intense. So this one, because the Intense does dry down to this warm, cozy benzoin, um, it has like a warm, cozy, sweet, syrupy benzoin component on your skin once it dries down. And that pairs extremely well with the brown sugar quality of this vanilla perfume. So these two together, 
is amazing. I would say this would be like a really good sexy date night combination, but also just a great wear anywhere, anytime. It's fantastic. I discovered that by accident because one night I had worn Armani Stay Intense on my wrist and later on I had gone and topped up my perfume for the day with Kaoli Vanilla 28 and the C was still there on my skin and the presence of the two of them together created this intoxicating vanilla aroma. I could not tell you like, it was just so lovely and so enjoyable. So honestly, it's really nice to have perfumes that mix and match really well with each other because then you essentially have more perfumes. You know, you've got a whole other perfume just by mixing two of them together. So Kelly Vanilla is definitely a great one to have if you want to do some layering. Another great layering combination that I wanted to quickly share with you is the Vanilla Bean Noel Body Spray from Bath & Body Works. Yeah, this one's just so like cozy and nostalgic and comforting and um, it's so good. It's so cozy and nostalgic and comforting and I absolutely love this body spray. It's one of my favorite from Bath & Body Works and this one also pairs very well with Kali Vanilla. It seems kind of strange, but the Kali Vanilla lasts a lot longer, but when you pair it with the Vanilla Bean Noel, it just gives it like this warm, cozy, like holiday quality. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, um, but it's very, very nice for the holidays. And I actually did that the other night too and really, really liked it. The Vanilla Bean Noel did not last very long in my clothing. It disappeared pretty quickly, but the Kiali stuck around till literally the next day and beyond until I washed my shirt. And these two together is just really nice. And you can see that I have put a bit of a dent in this bottle. I, I'm really, really enjoying my Vanilla Bean Noel, especially when I work shifts at work or night shifts. I want something that's soft and comforting and that I can pick up on myself and other people can also pick up but isn't overwhelming. And the Vanilla Bean Noel is a really great one. Actually, a lot of the Bath & Body Works body sprays are really great ones for that. Yeah, I just love it so much. It's just so like cozy, warm, comforting. And I think it's that way because it's a Christmas it's like a holiday release, like a Christmas release. Reminds me of the holidays. Makes me think of like warm, cozy, baking, big furry blankets, fireplaces, Christmas trees, and just like being a child, sort of. So it's just like extremely comforting. And then you add the sexy vanilla, like orchid component to it. It's just like really beautiful. So you kind of can't really go wrong mixing and matching with vanillas. And these two are really great. In fact, I bet you could probably mix Vanilla Bean Noel with a lot of the other perfumes too. And you could make a really nice combination. But these two together for sure, I know work really, really nicely. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these perfumes. Again, before you leave, make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what would be your number one perfume that you absolutely would not want to live without. And I'll see you guys all very soon in my next one. Bye for now.